no matter who we play, as long as we play our game, we'll be really tough to beat. State's mixed curling team is up against Nate and Lakeland College this weekend. The team is third in the standings and won't have the hammer in the first end. The underdogs plan to put up a center guard for protection when the last rock hits. Nate's got a pretty good skip, so I guess just make it a harder shot for him at the end there. The mixed team has lost three out of four games this season. Despite the icy start, things are starting to slide into place. We've seen huge improvements. Um, some of the athletes came in with differing le different levels of experience uh, prior to this, and uh, you know now I don't know if you could even tell you know, who only played one year or two years. Uh, they, they're, they've all really blossomed and uh, come together as a team. That's good. The Trojans say they focused on communication skills, which helped the dynamic between the skipped and the sweepers. This is the last practice for the state curling team before they head off to provincials. The men's team is second in the league, just behind Red Deer Polytechnic. This weekend, they're ready to rock the competition and sweep the Kings away to win the championship title. The men's curling team is the ACAC defending champion. They are already familiar with the Kings strategy and will use that in their favor. The skip of uh, the Red Deer Polytech Polytechnic team uh, is actually on one of my regular season teams. Um, so I know how he plays pretty well, um, and I'm planning to use that against him a little bit. The men's team only has three players, which is another advantage. You definitely do uh, work a bit better as a team when there's only three. It's a bit easier to manage. You have a better feel of the ice because you get to throw a few more rocks. U of A, Concordia University, and Nate also have to be knocked out if the Trojans want gold. For State News File, I'm Stacey Heim.